Welcome back to Beyond Good and Evil. I am Slider, and as always, I'm joined by Manga. Hiya. Oh, yeah. And this time, everything terrible happened. <laughs> All the heartwarming orphans are gone. Because we talk shit to the government. And also snuck into all their facilities and killed half their people, but whatever. We only blew up a few of them. Also, they're still here, goddammit. Oh, hi. Look, I see you're still here, that's awkward. Like before, we have to shoot their tanks from their thing. Come on, hit it. I can feel a bit more righteous fury about blowing these ones up. Oh, great. This is going well. Yes. Not much in the way of cover around here, is no. there? You're kind of just standing out in the open shooting at them. Good thing you, an unarmored, fragile human, can take way more hints than these flying death machines. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of stupid like that. I want to see how they can do something. To do our charge attack, then they can hit it anyway. That's good. Oh, there's another one. Great. Uh, camera? It but... was functional as a war cry, I guess. Well, that worked. Perfect. Okay. And their bodies were made of money. Yep, call it. <laughs> that sounds really sinister, actually. <laughs> you got some really creepy trade going on there. Corpses for cash. Corpses are cash. Yep. Either way, it's very creepy. Anyway. Back into the hover noom we go. Wait, 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 wait. Wait? Because I just realized something. Because there's something else we need to look into. Should get this open again. So yeah, we have our stabilizer that we bought. So put that in there. No way Good things to have. Hunk of junk. Not until it's completely For some reason, it took me forever to realize this. That this thing is here. I don't know how I missed that when I was looking right at it. <laughs> well, that was an easy search. Put the other one in there. That should do it. Is now in full working order. When she's calling it a hunk of junk, I'm just having Star Wars flashbacks like, what a piece of junk! <laughs> and then 30 years later, garbage will do! To space! You have any experience whatsoever flying spaceships? Can't be that difficult from a pilot in a hovercraft, right? Right. right? Yeah, it doesn't look any better in the light of day. So oh, beautiful. So about the hover the ship is that we have to connect the hovercraft to it if they want to control it. Cool. Now let's try to go to space. As you do. 
gravity of Hillis is too strong. We need a stellar motor to have enough power. That motor isn't stellar at all, it's mediocre. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. <laughs> yeah, so we can fly around now, so that's fun. Fine. Whee! You can go all over the place. A lot easier to travel and uh oh no. Oh god. We have to protect them. Well at least you don't have to protect the orphans anymore, right? Okay, so yeah, now we have to do this fight, but this time five flying around! We It is basically a creepy flying wiggler. Yes. It's the same one we fought before, except now we can fly! Gotcha. Yay! Aha. Still with really good fight music. I mean, it would be better if it didn't kill us, of course. Well, that's that's a preferable way to handle this. Yeah. So anyway, like combat works basically the same in a, a full-on ship like this. You can just shoot normally or do a lock-on attack. Good to know. I don't think telling to not move will stop it. I don't think I can hear you. Shiny. Pearls. 26. Now we need 30 if we want to get the stellar motor. Though we're going to get a lot more than 30, so... I was wondering if it would be hard to find four more pearls, but then I forgot what game we were playing. <laughs> Are you freaking out, little old lady? You're freaking out a paranoid little old lady, aren't you? Yes. So to be fair, we are shooting her for no reason. Maneuver not allowed. Collision yeah, that's fair enough. High. Maneuver not allowed. Collision risk high. Maneuver not allowed. So this Collision is just to show that you can't high. just Maneuver drop your allowed. hovercraft anywhere. Collision risk high. So you can't drop it in the water, of course. Then it'll just yeah, stick okay. around the area and you can, you know, go back in like that. And there's quite a few places we still need to check out before we go to space. Space. First of all, there's this flying manta ray, which we don't think we've ever taken a picture of, so let's do that. Thank you so much for all the important information. Nice. You can't shoot it. It doesn't do anything. Just because, why not? Oh, I found another whale. Or maybe it's the same one. I don't know. This is the best use of a flying vehicle. Taking pictures. Well, of course. This is still the weirdest reflection ever, by the way. It, yeah, I'm not quite sure of that. Oh, whatever. Identified. So you're getting cool file. photographs of whales. Yep. You are now leaving territorial waters. Final warning. So anyway, there's this cave here that we've never shown off. Now if you enter here, this is... Lots of explosives. Yes. Made of money. Astonishing number of things in this world are literally made of money. So this is a skeleton of the centipede boss monster thing. If you defeat all of them without ever taking a picture, you can come here if you want to take a picture of one. Get a picture of a dead one. Fun! Yay! 
We still seem to have one more animal. And we'll get to that. But for now... Where should we go to? You are now leaving territorial waters. Final warning. You are now leaving territorial waters. Final warning. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna- actually they're probably gonna kill you, so... As you can tell, we still have quite a few pearls left to find. Wow. Well, it's just a little more like clusters of bubbles than pearls. <laughs> <laughs> One animal and a crap ton of pearls. Now, first of all, do you remember way, way back in the factory where we beat that Reaper thing? Oh, yeah, that was a creepy fucker. So, only now did I remember that it dropped a pearl for me to get. So, let's and get that. You never got it. Yeah, I remember. There we go. That's one loose end dealt with. About damn time. <laughs> so yeah. It's a collection of all the pearls we've had. Obviously the ones exiled are the ones we've uh, traded in. And he's spent already? Yes. Well, we have an awful lot we've not found yet. Yep. 88 in total. We still have 21 more to get. Just a brief second of ominousness on the way into town. Of course. Now where should we go to next? Somewhere where we won't get shot at? Or is that like really limited around here? It's kind of limited. Like honestly the flying vehicle can't take you, with one major exception it can't really take you anywhere new in this area. So. Not allowed. Collision risk high. However, here's a little mini dungeon we never went into until now. So that'd be a good place to start to get some pearls. Let's start our ship. Did they leave their pearls in their sewage? Clark, you bastards. Uh, um. Are you stuck? Um. You're stuck, aren't you? Yeah. I tried to dock, and now, <laughs> now they'll never leave. We're just, we're just gonna sit here. This is the entire rest of the series, just sitting here in the Alpha Section sewage. Yes. Enjoy. Try to think of anything to do, and I could do nothing to get out of here. Well done, Slider. I'm just going to keep going with the slow, sarcastic clapping until you either figure something out or end the video. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, that happened. That did indeed happen. Yeah. The <laughs> best part is that the last save point before there was Mama Go's Garage before the lighthouse was attacked. Well. <laughs> so that was fun. That worked out well, didn't it? Yeah. <sighs> well, after that... Next time on Beyond Good and Evil, we're going to actually go through that little area and try to see if we can find the remaining pearls. That sounds like a plan. Yes, it does. As long as you don't get us stuck in there in again. <laughs> stuck there forever. No escape.